good morning and welcome back to Marderay Place. This morning let's try a little of the council. Not sure about sound levels, let's check them. Hold, hold. Let's go back. Erase. Hold, delete. Hold, delete. Hold, delete. Okay. All I did was start it up to make sure it ran. Paris, France, December 10th, 1792. <clears throat> Stop! You're not getting anywhere with this Von Borschert. Okay, and it is loud. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm going to have to Alt-Tab to get off the screen. Let's take the... Whoa, no, 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 no. Take the sound levels down. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Nothing. Not a sound. No one's coming to save you. <laughs> That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair of my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. Son. Didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours always remain rational and open I got it I've opened our shackles draw him over here I'll take care of him Bob Orchard Bob Orchard mm -hmm. listen let's make a deal I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free oh what are you playing at don't worry mother you want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Trust her. Please, be my guest, Mother. Mm. Done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? 
Couldn't be better. He's alive, so I can question him after we get back. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, you're no spring chicken anymore. <laughs> Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. That's funny. No spring chicken anymore. Alright, it's a month later, January 20th, 1793. Lord Mortimer's Island, off the coast of England. Good morning, Spikey. trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer, and now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. The Council. Episode 1, The Mad One. By the way, I think episode one is free. The least he could do is explain to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, Mother. It no longer suits your age. <laughs> well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long-lost mystical object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think about it. Yeah, it, it's pretty good. Well now, Duchess. We find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long ago. But as I'm doing some business with Sir Hall, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you, good sir. What brings you here? Your Eminence, with all due respect, I prefer to keep my reasons for coming here to myself. I promise it has nothing to do with the legendary party that you all appear to be preparing for. I believe what you will, my son. However, everything is related to the legendary parties organized by our host. Yeah, I'll be the judge of that, Cardinal. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man. Because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. And only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. Let's go back to the Duchess. And you, Duchess? You seem to be quite accustomed to things here. Am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine She's you'll be freezing. Find it to some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Are you alright? What's wrong with our head? Huh? 
Having a migraine? Mother? Oh shit, your hand! So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. Right. Just one thing left to do. No, Mother, no, no, no! What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. Morning, but Leah. I trusted you. No, sir. Don't. No. No! <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah, but you will pay for it. You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? Here, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. What's happening to me, for God's sake? I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Okay, camera control, mouse, WASD to move. What are the things in this mailbox? Okay, no, those, maybe that's the invitations. How are you this morning, Leah? How are you this morning, Spikey? Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you, but we didn't happen to run into each other. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? So, um, I'm pretty good. I had a little trouble sleeping last night, so I figured I'd play early, and then if I get tired, I'll take a nap. <laughs> so, oh well. All right, so now we need to choose a class. We've got uh, three choices. Diplomat. Skills of politics, etiquette, linguistics, conviction, and diversion. Shines in society. Talented speaker. Avoids faux pas. And he can convince those with whom he is talking without offending them. Politics is his field of predilection. Skills are... Right now I have a point in manipulation, a point in psychology. Etiquette. Conviction. Politics. Diversion. Linguistics. Sutterfuge, science, erudition, occultism, manipulation, agility, logic, psychology. We've got a point in psychology and a point in manipulation already. Vigilance and questioning. So we'll go back. Occultist is a master of deception, convinced of the importance of knowledge. He has acquired ex extensive expertise in science and the arts, using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. 
Manipulation, Occultism, Erudition, Sciences, and Subterfuges. So here the psychology comes into play and the manipulation again. To things like etiquette, conviction, politics, diversion. Okay. So it looks like the skills are similar, but I guess what you do with them is different. Detective excels in investigation. He's trained to notice every detail in his surroundings as well as in people he questions. A hands-on man, he does not shy away from the direct approach. Questioning, vigilance, psychology, agility, and logic. Yeah, the base skills are the same. I think it's how you use them will be different. I'm, I'm tempted to go occultist. I think I shall try that. All right. Seven effort points to use your skills. Three available points. We have one in manipulation. But the, this has not been acquired, so... No? Okay. How would we get this? So all we have is science. Add one point. Okay. Can't use that because this hasn't been acquired. We have to acquire, we would have to acquire this and this. That's acquired. All right, hold on. Diplomat, we've got this. Okay, so I see each one of these. This vigilance, not vigilance, this thing has been unlocked for detective. And this one for occultist. So... I've got points and I can put them in here. Get people to act in your interest. Rely on your knowledge of mystical and religious symbols as well as ancient languages and secret societies. Benefit from a sound cultural background in the arts, geography, and history. I want to be able to steal items, pick locks, and notice falsification. Okay. Let's do a point in occultism. Do you want to manipulate higher? Or add it. I think we'll manipulate higher. Okay. So we'll have two points of manipulation, one in occultism, one in subterfuges. All right, let's try that. I have been involved in all sorts of unsolved cases. Have you ever heard of the Abbey of Hexham? Uh, vaguely. An ingenious scam involving mass manipulation on a scale never seen before. Hmm. There was a cavern under the Abbey, wasn't there? Exactly. The wind would blow in through spouts, 
creating a, a terrifying howling sound. So, to stop the howling, the priests called for offerings from the peasants. And if they brought enough money, I'm guessing the priests stopped the howling. A perfect trick to fool simple souls. Admit it, Duchess. That story kept you in suspense, didn't it? Yes, it did. I'm delighted to find out that you were the young and brilliant French investigator. For someone who only remembers the case vaguely, your memories are very clear. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? No. Nope. Please excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've met before, but I don't remember where. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. Please stop torching me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No. Sorry, I, I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I'm so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Interesting. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, time to go to the manor. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points. To access the skill required for the situation, you just need to have unlocked it. Okay. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you one effort point back. Review immunities and vulnerabilities in the journal tab in the menu. So an immunity has been revealed, a vulnerability has been revealed. Push the return button to access your menu pages. Emily. Sarah Faustine de Richer is a rich French aristocrat. That's our mother. 34 years ago, Sarah took over one of the most important secret societies, the Golden Order, a woman of strong will. By the way, I identify more with the mother than with the son. I wish I could play the mom. <laughs> a woman of strong will, Sarah endeavored to infiltrate the highest circles of society, politics, trade transactions, secrets of state or paranormal spheres. The order had an eye over everything. One of the biggest areas of growth that Sarah brought to the order was the development of its branches in America, Europe, and Central Africa not to mention the expansion of her occult section, which she took care of personally. Since he was just a boy, Sarah has been preparing her son, Louis, to become the new face of the order. Then we have Emily Hillsborough. She is immune to logic, and her vulnerability is to be discovered. Interesting, she's immune to logic. She's an English duchess, close to the English crown. She's discreet about her origins. She only came onto the political scene after her wedding. That some qualified as a marriage of interest to an old English aristocrat on the decline. Well, she's a duchess, man. She married a duke. Yeah, okay. Libertarian modern, but discreet. She's taken it upon herself to establish close ties with her peers. In a few years, she has become the favorite diplomat of the queen which is what probably prompted her prime minister, William Pitt, to take her as private secretary. Okay, this is an alternate universe. This is an alternate universe because William Pitt would never have taken a woman as a private secretary, thus provoking much suspicion and jealousy. As regular visitor, Emily accepted, Sir, and a duchess in particular, uh, 
As a regular visitor, Emily accepted Sir Gregory Holmes' invitation to come to Lord Mortimer's Island because for nothing in the world would she miss one of these famed receptions. This is us. Wow, our eyes are green. The only son of Sarah, Louis Moros de Ruche, and forgive me my butchering of French, is a young Parisian aristocrat. Ever since he was a young child, Louis moved in his mother's circles, and so it was natural that on his 14th birthday, he entered the Golden Order, the secret society headed by Sarah. Precocious, Louis progressed quickly at her side, despite the daily treatment his mother prescribed for his chronic migraines. Yeah, that was a migraine. It acted more like a cluster headache, but it was a migraine. He climbed the ladder until he was able to assist his mother in occult cases for which he was particularly talented. As time went by, he became shaped in the image that his mother had held for him. Everything pointed to one day young Louis becoming the head of the Golden Order. And then Giuseppe Piaggi. His eminence, the Cardinal, Giuseppe Piaggi, is a legate of Pope Pius VI. A distinguished speaker, Giuseppe Piaggi, worked throughout his career to serve the principles of the Roman Catholic Church. A man of science and amateur philosopher, he quickly caught the ear of the Pope, who discreetly named him Cardinal in pectore. Pectore is like chest. Does that mean like, pro like to protect the chest? I wonder. He was thus able to use this relationship of trust to help Pius VI in his difficult mission of guiding the faithful. Invited by Sir Gregory Holm, Piaggi is delighted to meet his old friend Mortimer in order to represent the interests of the Holy See. Emily's handkerchief. Mortimer's invitation. Whoa, the Archidoxes of Magic, Paracelsus 1526. Interesting. Close to the chest. Thank you. here. Okay, that's the character thing. Talents. Occult mastery. We need to reach level three in manipulation, level two in occultism and sub subterfuges. Okay. Interesting. So the the points we get will actually increase these skills. We've always been charismatic. You trusted our mother and we chose a cult class. Okay. Excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Riche. She's still avoiding our I questions. Don't know where we're going like this, Emily, but you're connected to my mother one way or another. And if I can believe my vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. Okay, you obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects as they offer very interesting improvements. Review all talents in the dedicated tab in the menu. Okay. Okay, we're on the pier. Is 
Is this an alternate way up? Oh no, he, it dragged me to him. Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Um... What can you tell me about the disappearance of my mother? Two weeks have passed since Sir's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But Sir may rest assured we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. What makes but no you one think seems that? to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seemed to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost is in effort points. Okay, weird question. When do we regain effort points? So like, do we have to sleep in between? Is it like when a day turns over? Okay, browse your skills by using the character tab in the menu. Did anyone see anything else? Unfortunately not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials S.D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Why does it say locked? Let's try that. Pass me the handkerchief. But... But, sir, my orders were to give it to my master. Are you refusing to give me my own mother's personal belongings? Even though she was greatly looking forward to meeting your master, she's gone missing. And you seem incapable of finding her. Oh, but, sir, please. And to top it all off, you refuse to give me the handkerchief that she so often let me use? Do I deserve such little consideration in your eyes? Is that what you wish me to report to your master? No, certainly not. Oh, sir. we're a bit please of a... Please forgive me, sir. Of a I nasty character. Here you are. It is indeed your handkerchief, Mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? Okay, look for clues. might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Okay. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen from 300 meters away. It steals the, the action quite often. There seem to be a lot of quick time events. from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean, and the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. 
Mm, sure. This might just come in handy. Not sure we can hide it anywhere. A sack of seeds. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. There's like little glowy bits, but it's hard to tell which glowy bits are just reflections or highlights and which glowy bits are like that little glowy circle as opposed to the quick glowy bits where the water's. Some rope. This is hard. Apparently no one's touched it for a good long time. Lantern. Nothing special. It goes with the invitations, right? Let's see what's hidden inside. Let's look. Hmm. A letter written in an Oriental language. I don't know this idea of what it says. The dressees in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me, it's about time the order sent some envoys there. Address is 50 Bedford Square, London. Okay. Too badly written, I, I can't make out the address. Sam and the other letters. Hi, Eminence Giovanni. This envelope is meant for the Vatican. Apparently, this letter is meant for Pope Pius VI, born Giovanni Brasci. I wonder which one of these people is infiltral enough to write to the Pope in person. Probably a Dutchman. Samuel Ritter Dochois. <laughs> Mother, you test me even when you're not here. It's an anagram of Louis Moras de Riche. You wanted to write to me then. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Oh, we got that. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richer. What is your game here, Mother? What are these strange turns of phrase? I've never heard you speak like that. What's going on here? That you write to me under a pen name, okay. But here you go even further by trying to avoid raising any suspicions should anyone else read it. I wonder if this Godoy is the person you came looking for. Think. Godoy, Godoy. Manuel Godoy. Why does the name sound so familiar? Politics lot. I'm guessing okay. he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. All right, so in the lower left, those must be our... our whatever they are, points, are usable points. Because we've lost two doing those actions that we did. All right, that was the key one, was, was finding that letter. I could keep looking at additional ones, but I think I'm good. Down the middle. Oh, wait. What are you? It's like the barrel's been 
broken for quite some time. All right, how about this area rather than going straight up? Is there an alternate way? There's a gate here. Oh, where are you? Hey, there's something not right about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. Agility locked. Use the rusty iron bar. That does it. Let's see what's hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I knew that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. For crying out loud, what's happened to you, Mother? Yeah, for a skinny guy. Where is he hiding all this stuff? <laughs> you know, it's not like he's got a backpack. All right, manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. At the start of each quest, you can choose what to read and gain permanent skill points. Okay. Let's look inside the bag. A little food, a few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. Oh, rusty it's an key. Iron key completely rusted. Take the key. You never know. It might be useful. I hope Mother wasn't counting on it. The bottom of the bag is covered in black powder. Shit. Those are definitely my mother's things. I recognize her hairpins. This bag smells of her perfume of soap, some oils, and her powder puff. What does all this mean? All right, so should we hide it again, or should we take it? Right, we leave that's it enough. There. I think I better leave her bag here. If she hid all this, it's because she thought she might need it later. For crying out loud. Why did you hide supplies in the middle of nowhere, Mother? I don't know what's going on here, but you obviously feel like you're in danger. Does the key fit? Locked. I'll never get it open barehanded. Oh. Let's try using the iron key. Here we are. Glad we took the key. Saved us a lot of points. Shackles. This looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, Mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. And none of it's telling me anything useful. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Uh -huh. Sam on the broken barrel? Probably here. Cannon powder. Maybe that's what the black powder was. Hmm. The powder's wet. Not surprising, given the dampness of the dog. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. So, let's go through this. My mother's been hiding pieces of bread between rotten boards of a wharf in the middle of the night. That's not normal. And if that weren't enough, it looks now like she's armed. Meanwhile, she also takes the time to send out letters, reassuring whoever might be interested that she's having a fabulous time here. So odd. So very odd. And that's not even all I've noticed. But maybe I ought to move on to the manor now. They'll be waiting for me. At least I hope so. 
All right, let us then. Ooh, 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 there's a little glow there. Ooh. A fragment of amber. Glad I found that, especially given he just prompted us to go back. Huh, it doesn't tell us lock up this gate. Right, that's mom's cash. Right, that's enough. I think I'd better leave her bag here. If she hid all this, it's because she thought she might need it later. Okay. You. What have we got in our inventory now? We've got the letter, mom's handkerchief and Emily's handkerchief, the invitation, the science book, the occult book, and four royal jelly, which each restore two effort points. like to put I'd like to get up on science the next time we have the chance to read a book maybe we should read science and bring that up one Inscription and Nessis, me fili quantilia produncia mundus orgatio. You don't know, my son, how little wisdom the world is governed with. I tend to agree. Discovered an immunity of Lord Mortimer. Okay, so. William Mortimer is immune to conviction. Okay. How did Mortimer manage to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? was a little abrupt. Impressive. Ah, my son. I was looking for you. What can I do for you, your eminence? I wanted to ask you. You are the son of Sara de Vici, aren't you? You see, your mother and I were supposed to meet here on this very spot. I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. But I haven't seen her. Only mother had told me why she was coming here. Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always give it to me. Okay, it says three blunders left. Interesting. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Confrontations have consequences on the rest of the story, so don't hesitate to use your skills. 
Each confrontation displays an interface showing you how much the person you're talking to is convinced. Thank you, my son. I bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Certainly, Your Eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. All right. I shall see her tomorrow, then. By the way, Your Eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, if you only knew, my son, I hold your mother in the highest of God. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. If only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's, it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. You said you work together. What do you do, exactly? Oh, shall I try it? Be it mother or myself, our motto has always been discretion in all things. And to promise to never betray a word of honor. Was your secret safe with mother? It will be even more so with me. You have convinced me. The mystery with which your mother manages her business proves that she carries your motto close to her heart. Right now, can I eat that royal sincere. jelly now? All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Look, if it's of any help, you can always leave your envelope with me and I'll Think give it to her as soon one? as I see her. Uh, I uh, hesitate. Up till now, we have always dealt with her in person, and that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Okay. Right? One. Okay. There we go. All right. Do I want to pretend I don't want it? You can count on me. I'm going to try the hard Look, one. You seem hesitant. The simplest thing to do is just to give it to her when you see her. After all, it's not that urgent. Yes. Oh, I discovered his vulnerability. I mean, yes, it's urgent. I mean, what if we don't find each other here on the island? Though I don't know yet when I'll be leaving. I might not be staying for very long. Hmm, what to do? Can you see a solution? Come on, just give me the letter for crying out loud. I cannot run the risk alone. I am going to trust you. You seem like an honest man. Bingo! Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? For the last step of a confrontation, you must convince the person you are talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad answer, the step will repeat itself until either you give a right one or you have no blunders left. The last step of a confrontation will repeat itself if you fail. Okay. I can't promise because I don't have diversion. I can say, uh, or I can say, I don't believe in this. I'm going to try saying what the truth. Your eminence, that's just not possible for me. Why is that? I've always had a Cartesian mind, and I won't make false promises. I respect you too much for that. I spend my time trying to find logical and reasonable answers to problems which, at first glance, may seem supernatural. I'm not saying I don't believe in God as a concept. I just don't believe in the God of your sacred texts. And I don't want to lie to you. Even though your answer does shock me, my son, I shall only hear your honesty. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur de Vinci. 
Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the accursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priests' safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her that time is short. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Okay, many clues and items are hidden. Some of them will have an impact on your adventure, so do not hesitate to look for them. Okay. So, I now have his sealed letter. I have to go to my room first. There's a letter from Mom. Two handkerchiefs. The invitation the books. Okay. So do I now know more? That he's vulnerable to manipulation. Okay. All right. A bit more of a map. Look, we can actually see kind of there's a big area around maybe a courtyard. Now it said I unlocked something. Oh look, I've, I've, my manipulation's gone up by itself. Because now it's at three of those things. All right. Ooh, as I succeed in stuff, I'm gaining points. See, it says succeed two confrontations. And I've succeeded at a confrontation, so this is going to gain me points. Interesting. And I gained a new trait. I gained reliable and I gained a point in manipulation. That's where it came from was because I got the letter. I got that. Okay. That makes sense. Okay, it wanted me to go over near the fireplace to those people. Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Yeah, he does. Okay. There is, there's a cattail right under my mouse. I'm gonna move over the cattail. She's busy making muffins right now in my lap. of the noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch, a biography of the great men. Flip through it, education level, erudition level one. Open to Brutus's page. Caesar, stabbed by multiple blows at once, sees Brutus raise the dagger on him. Then, covering his head with his robe, he delivers himself to the arms of the conspirators. Nice family. Let's keep it. it. Might come in handy someday. Okay. Got another book. So another, in essence, more skills. So far, I'm liking this game. I didn't know if I would, but so far, I do. I like it. Blind Oedipus. Blinded himself. What a tragic destiny. What is this little vial? Devil's Thorn grants you the exalted state. You temporarily see the immunity, 
sorry, immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice in a conversation. You cannot carry more than five, press three to use it. Okay. So as we're getting higher, we better start using the monsters. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Well, yeah, you've got a lot of exposed Since skin, Since I set dear. foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simple. George Washington, President of the United States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richer. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> well, my friends, do any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, hey, I've been invited six, ten. by Sir Thanks Horn, for the raid. a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richer, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Lord Mortimer asked me to drop everything and come find my mother, who seems to have disappeared during her stay here. Ah. Oh. I took the first boat, and here I am. I'm so sorry. Don't be, sir. It's not your fault. <laughs> of course. Seriously. Though. Yeah, you don't have to wear them. I know your mother well. <laughs> stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Good Lord, Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Good evening, my friend. Holy shit, that's the man for my vision. An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English aristocrat. Very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer. So don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. Ah. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord 
Mortimer's guest. Yes, I do, and I haven't played it yet, so this Shall is be Don't take no it spoilers the allowed. Zone, this is new for me. Already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Oh, I want to find out what home knows about my mother. My vision is more important. Let's follow home. I'll follow you, sir. Mr. Washington, I hope to speak with you at greater length on another occasion. Emily, please excuse me, but I would like to speak to Sir Holm. I shall see you later. My friend, I hope our dear Giovanni is well. Ah, the troubles in France have fatigued him, but he would recover slowly. Do not fear. He apologizes for remaining in Rome. The voyage was too much for him. And right he was too. The mildness of the Mediterranean, eh? Come, sit down and have something to eat, my friend. You look rather pale. Oh. Excuse me, sir. I have been he neglecting my duty. I haven't introduced myself. Sir Gregory Holm, an old friend of Lord Mortimer's. A real pleasure, sir. You who must be well used to the court of France. How do you find this peaceful little haven? Charming, if I hadn't come here for disturbing reasons. Yes, I heard the news. What a story. Indeed. I wanted to ask you. Mm. What is this? Would story you have say? any information about the disappearance of my mother? Ah, uh, very little, I'm afraid, my young friend. Your mother came at the invitation of Lord Mortimer. Then one fine day, we couldn't find her anywhere. That's it? As I said, I I don't know very much. Lord Mortimer had the entire area searched immediately. We found no clue as to her disappearance. But I am convinced that as soon as Lord Mortimer becomes available, he will explain the situation. Thank you for your answer, Sir okay, Holm. I'm gonna move but this kitty. I beg your pardon. I get the Here impression I know you. Have we met? Except in my dreams, of course. Not that I remember, young man. Uh, perhaps you are mistaking me for another member of the Chamber of Lords. Well, what with the wig and the powder, it wouldn't be the first time. No, you were definitely the one I saw threatening my mother. I thought... never mind. It'll come back to me. Would you allow me one last question, sir? I don't want to take up all your time. Uh, please, go ahead. Um, what do you want to know? <sighs> do you know if anyone else has gone missing recently? Not at all, sir. It's as if Sarah has purely and simply vanished into thin air. That's right. Just take me for an idiot, why don't you? Not even a servant, then. Not even a servant. I can assure you, we would have been in four. Keep your faith, my son. Only the celebrated Sara de Rice could vanish before our very eyes. And she will reappear. You will see. <laughs> insisted that you rest in your room. Do you want me to call someone? Okay. When the time limit is over, an answer is automatically selected. Check the dialogue timer at the bottom of the screen. Validate hold. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this around cats. Okay. I'd rather not get involved either. <laughs> oh, rats. Just sit there a moment. It'll pass. She's slowly recovering. Now, these fits of hers are quite worrying to see, but normally there are no consequences. No consequences? Have you seen the state she's in? Can you tell me something about her? The dizzy spell is harmless, but her general condition is frankly alarming. You seem to know her. What is she suffering from? I don't know exactly, but her father sent her to us in the hope that she would recover all her faculties. It would appear she suffers from episodes of dementia. Is she aggressive? Sometimes, but only toward herself. She has never hit out at anyone else, I can assure you of that. If she wasn't like that this morning. Something must have upset her. That's one way to put it. The poor girl is exhausted, but that's not the cause of her problem. 
Are you all right, Elizabeth? Do you feel any better? When did she arrive? Four days ago. Okay. My mother had already gone missing. Hmm. Are you all right, Elizabeth? You gave us quite a fright. Take it easy, miss. Let me... I just need to get back to my room. Of course, my dear. He focused on the brooch and then missed you the skill. It, didn't you? Pardon me? He's saying it, de la bestia. Sorry, your eminence. I don't speak Italian. Ah, forget it. The sign it of the beast. Matter. Gentlemen, it's getting late. It is time for everyone to go to bed. It has been a long day. Okay. I think I can study a book now. It's all the more delicate. I'll see what I can do, but the case I'm on at the moment might well leave me with very few opportunities. Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. So, old, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Miss Adams is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridor. I have psychology. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. Wow, I'm missing left. The right servant will center. accompany you to your room. Okay, so who did we just learn about? The servant's vulnerability to manipulation, George Washington. Okay, founding father and first president. Shared his life between military and political success. Early on, introduced by Sarah Richet into the upper circles of an influential secret society from France. Golden Order, he later took the helm of an American branch, tired of politics. He wanted to retire to his property in Virginia, but that was without taking into account Lord Mortimer, who encouraged him to come out of retirement. On the advice of his friend, he ran for a second term and was successful. Invited by Mortimer to his island, Washington likes to attend such social gatherings incognito, yet he admitted who he was. He didn't use a false name. Okay, and then we have Elizabeth Adams, the daughter of John Adams, Vice President of the United States. Elizabeth was rejected by her parents at birth and it was declared stillborn. Brought up in isolation, she grew into a frail young woman with bipolar disorder. Okay. Devoured by her terrible fits of anxiety, her deepest secrets were slowly gnawing away at her from inside despite numerous treatments. Nothing could cure her. The young woman continued to descend into folly. As a friend of Sir, Sir Gregory Holm and of Lord Mortimer, John Adams decided to send his daughter to Lord Mortimer's manor in the hope that he could help her. With little hope, Elizabeth has now been at the manor for a short while. So they're using, they're using 20th century um, terminology in something that's not set in the 20th century. Interesting. Okay. All right, so I want to unlock logic. So it says three points left before level one. I wonder how you have to unlock it. You have to unlock the skills to unlock it. Uh, 
Oh no, that's logic. I see what. Okay, but we we can't. You can't acquire their skill because. Oh, we don't have psychology. We don't have it because we don't have this thing unlocked. Oh, because this is detective. That's what it is. Okay, so these are the detective skills. These are the occultist skills, and these are the yeah, I can't remember who they were skills. These are the occultist skills. So I'm all in this tree. All right. So I have a book for science, right? Conviction, occultism, and science. So it'd be good to read the science book. Bring that up. Or occultism. Science or occultism? I think science. It'd be good to get that started. Okay. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, Your Eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? All right. Well, we can explore. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Okay, that's her room. Duke Manuel Godoy. And there's the name that was in that we were wondering about. That book will probably be a skill book for somebody with a different skill tree. Huh, that's me. Okay, but before I go in... Monseigneur, His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. So, that's my room, right there. Sorry if it's jumping around. I'm trying to make it smooth. I have a cat who just, she's really interested in me today. She wants pets and strokes and to sit on my keyboard and watch the game and yeah. President George Washington. See if we can find any more um, things like the royal jelly because we used quite a few of those earlier. I think we used two or three of them. It's barred. I like how when you change from the carpets to the flooring, the footsteps change. Sir Johann von Brunner. 
That's a new name. Can you imagine living in a place like this? I mean, honestly. My whole house, my entire living space. Oh, look, there's a second floor. Can't go up. Um, my entire living space is about 800 square feet. It could fit my whole house just in like this little area right here. There we go, we've got another devil's thorn. It's worth exploring to get the ingredients, I think. Or the boosts, or whatever you want to call them. See, now there's a new one. Cures all your negative alterations. Interesting. Golden elixir. And a book. A few leaves out of an old encyclopedia. Okay, so what is that? The encyclopedia. Denis Diderot and Jean Laurent de la Lim de Lambert, 1751 to 772. 150. Can I please have my mouse back? Thank you. Academics and scholars contributed to the production of this first synthesis of human knowledge. One skill point in science, one skill point in linguistics, one skill point in erudition. Assemble all the pages of this manuscript in order to read it one out of three. Interesting, okay. By the way, speaking of can be equipped, can we equip this? I tried right clicking. How about left clicking on it? No. Okay. Okay, and this is where we came up. So our room is around this corner and here change in the floor. That's that's good game design. And somewhere up here on the right is our room. do with this letter it might be about my mother's disappearance but if I open it I'll be betraying Biagi's trust what should I do mm -hmm. okay let's try it so it really is a list of French countrymen Piaggi wasn't lying Nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. Alright, so this is our room. Bookshelf. 
carmelite water gives you the focus state. Your next skill will cost no effort. Nice. St. Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. I wouldn't like to be his son. St. Francis of Assisi in ecstasy. Before superior voices. It always amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. But that's what it was used for in Paul, those days. Caravaggio. It's incredible. It doesn't look like a copy, but I was sure the original was in Rome. I've seen that painting. I've seen that Caravaggio. Judith beheading Holofernes. Ironic in a way, when you know that the artist represented herself as Judith beheading her mentor, who had raped her. Wait, 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 wait. Collector coin. Lost coins in Lord and Mortimer's Manor. Okay. 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 Uh, use golden whatever it is. Which one's the golden? So, two. Okay. Oh, it's agility locked. Okay, I can't get to that. That's the amber, I think. I think I just wasted potions and things. Oh well. We learn. someone else's rooms here? Hey, a Russian ruble. I wonder what it would be worth today. Yes, this got me into my own room. Devil's Thorn. Okay. Oh, I wanted to look at stuff some more. All right. Am I not going to sleep in a nightshirt? So these are the things we had success in. The good news is it doesn't say we failed a whole bunch of stuff. We went up to the manor. We pieced together Mother's movements on the docks. We convinced Piaggi to trust me with his letter. We met Mr. Washington. We chose to join Sir Holm in a small salon. We found a strange book on the key. We observed Sir Holm. We could have remained in the Grand Hall to speak with Mr. Washington. Gave us points. 
Okay, so we have four available points. Let's take that up. And I have one available. Occultism or Sutterfuges? Sutterfuges. Okay, now we can equip manuscript. Here you can choose what to read during the adventure. Each manuscript you read confers skill points at the end of the quest. Okay, I would like to bring up my science. Watching George Washington and I missed who playing chess. Now what? we're a servant. The servants are not oh, very Sir Gregory. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the Just search of Washington. de Richet's room hasn't turned out any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. It is never Here too is late. Our Corsican. And we have much to discuss. One last move? Don't worry, our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come, take a seat, my friend. Nighttime stroll, Mr. President. There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. The corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Oh, well, valerian would work. And to you too, sir. This is soporific, it'll make you sleep. <gasps> Wipe your nose. Oh, not on your sleeve. I'm coming! the door where is the door hurry to answer the door where's the door where's the door excuse me am I bothering you no not in the least is something wrong I'm going to need your help do you remember the young lady we spoke of whoa we, we got dressed suddenly What's her name again? Elizabeth Adams. Well, 
She is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens! I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. And perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. Yeah, but it's, it's time to help him. Count on me, sir. Thank you, my friend. Because I skipped Elizabeth talking to him earlier. As long as possible. She must not return to her room. Trust me. Okay, where are we going? According to Washington, maybe Adams is in the small salon. I better hurry. All right, so let us find our way downstairs. Louis, you're straying from your objective. Oh, is that the wrong direction? Okay. Yeah, the good news is there's not a stamina meter. Okay, map. Small cellar downstairs. Maybe that round thing? So maybe to the left? Nope. Okay. Ah, my son. Oh, you are a godsend. What's the matter, Your Eminence? I believe that Miss Adams may be in danger. What do you mean? Do you hear that? She is being manhandled in this small salon. By whom? I don't know exactly. Uh, a thug, a Frenchman, it seems. By the cut of his cloth, I'd say he's a member of the French Revolutionary Guard. You should do something, my son. Shit. I was supposed to make sure Adams wouldn't go back to her room. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'll take care of it. Probably nothing to worry about. Do you want me to call for help? Please don't do anything. I'm sure with a little goodwill, everything will work out fine. Don't go and wake up the whole manor. Thank you, my son. May God watch over you. <laughs> Who do you think you are? Forget okay, there are multiple paths to reach your objective. It may be a good idea to think twice before embarking on the first path to go to. Me, sir. If we were in France, I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, just let me go back to my room. All right, I need to move. Hey, kick you, off. stay out of it. Whoa, this is it. none of your business. I'm gonna teach this little slut how to behave. What the hell is going on? Huh? I don't think you know who I am. Stop! I beg you. I I didn't mean to. Don't hit me, please, sir. Shit! Uh, I step in. Adams might just run back uh, to her room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search, but this girl's gonna suffer. Damn it, what should I do? Let her go! Huh? Stay out of it, boy! Shit. What are you playing at? I told you to mind your own business, boy! If you think you can side with this whore and then just walk away, you're out of your mind. Give me one good reason not to knock you down. Remind you You're not is. back in your slum now. You're in Lord Mortimer's home. I suggest you think carefully about what you're going to do. Don't think you're getting away with it that easily. I'm sick of all these talks. If we were in Paris, I'd send you all to the guillotine. And on top of it all, a woman telling me how I ought to behave? I won't stand for it. Oh, okay, okay. Wait a minute. What? Don't tell me you're going to defend these harlots. I believe in man. From speech comes dialogue. 
From dialogue, peace is born. And from peace, great destinies flourish. What the fuck are you talking about? I get the feeling you're trying to put one over on me. If that's the case, you're making a big mistake. Sorry about that. Look, there's no point in us aggravating each other. Let's both just go our separate ways. Don't move. We're not done yet. You wanted to be the knight in shining armor and save the damsel in distress. Let's see how brave you are. Disconcerted. Someone threw you off balance. The cost of effort points increases when you're using your skills. You can use a golden elixir to cure yourself. Or you can validate. Oh, okay. Think about it. You know your head will roll tomorrow if you shoot. Wanna bet? Sure do. I'm not in the habit of beating Lord Mortimer's guest in his own salon. You got off easy this time, but don't try it again. Okay. Now, I need to... The coach Elizabeth was wearing. Huh. She was so frightened she was unaware that she'd lost it. Yeah, well, it didn't seem to do her much good. Okay. Now we've got to find her, right? Did you get time to search the room? Louis, I only needed ten minutes. Imagine the scandal if she had found me. What would you have done in my shoes? She was in the middle of an argument with some angry guy. Ten minutes? I didn't ask for the moon. Nonetheless, you found what you were looking for, didn't you? Not everything, but yes. Elizabeth is definitely the daughter of John Adams. We need more information. You can always go back. It's too late now. No, oh, I think we failed that. All right, we finally got a golden elixir. All right, so. Got one royal jelly, one golden elixir, three devil's thorn, two caramelate water. The talisman says, take care of yourself, dear sister. Another coin. Was this where the small salon was? No, it was the other way. Okay, which way is our room? Our room is down here. We're actually headed the correct direction. Your Eminence, what are you doing here? I was worried about you, my son. How did it go with Miss Adams? He was Adams? in our room. Don't worry about that anymore, Your Eminence. I had to step in, but everything's under control. <laughs> what an adventure, my son. <laughs> I'm really 
relief to hear it. You acted as a good Christian. In these troubled times, we need more men of your caliber. It's nothing, Your Eminence. I did what I had to do. Well, you did the opposite. Good. Well, thanks for the news. My son, I have another problem. I wanted to speak to you about something important. Do you still have my letter on you? The one I gave you in the home? Why do you ask? I have a name to add to it. Here it is. Thank you, my son. Ah, I see that it's still sealed. I was right to put my trust in you, Venice. Now give me one second, please. I can't imagine what would have happened if I hadn't added this name to the list. Please, be sure to give this letter to Sarah the moment you see her. You can count on it. Have a good night. I'm glad we uh, opened that discreetly. Exhausted. Better go to bed. I'll search my room tomorrow. If Mother stayed here right before me. You never know. And Mortimer had better show up. Not nightmare inducing at all, that art. Oh good, I made level three. Ooh. Is this unlocked? Skill not acquired. But this looks like it's unlocked now. So I can unlock these. I just have to put more points into them. Okay, so psychology is unlocked. I have four available points. Agility is unlocked. Now etiquette's unlocked. Okay. There we go. And I can put one point into something. I'm going to gain a, a science tonight through this by teaching. Do I put another point in occultism? Erudition? Like sutterf sutterfuges. Oh, I'm still. I need even that golden elixir. I gotta drink it. I thought maybe that would go away with sleep. And we're coming up on two hours here, so it might be a really good time to go make another right. cup of coffee and take My a quick break. My vision yesterday, I saw that Mother had this room before me. I better search the room. Who knows? Maybe she left me something behind. All right, I am going to. Let's learn that next. Um, I'm going to go make my coffee. I will be right back. So.
be right back. Okay. All right, let's get started again. Give me a second. Oh, 
All right. So we set that up. There it is. So we need to press two to use it. Okay. Two. There, now it's gone. Okay. More paintings. Last judgment. Why do I always get the most terrifying room? <laughs> that was, I'm sure, deliberate on their part. Writing material. Vigilance, okay. We don't have vigilance that level yet. The incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on, but doesn't touch. Okay, that is the way to the balcony, and we've been out there last night. We could go out again during the daylight. The torture of Ixion, condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. Why can't I? There. Nothing. Got a royal jelly out of that. I haven't even had time to unpack my cases. The inspiration of St. Matthew, <coughs> or Matthew writing his gospel, dictated to him by voices. Got a key. Dear Monsieur de Richer, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. However, rest assured that we are doing all we can to resolve the case that concerns us. By the way, enclosed, you will find a key that will enable you to retrieve <coughs> the personal effects Sorry. your mother left behind. Yours faithfully, Lord William Mortimer. I am. Um stepped outside and shoveled off the front steps quickly during that break while the dog was running about doing things that dogs would do and that's why I'm coughing it always sets off my asthma I don't have much asthma but that's enough that sudden exposure to the cold air so I'm going to be a little hoarse and probably cough off and on for a little bit Okay, so last night we came out here, we found some royal jellies and stuff like that. Really spectacular, isn't it, being up here? I bet you could just stand here and fish from your balcony. Here's something will undermine my botanist appreciation for the local climate. Need more vigilance. Crosses must be Piaggi's room. So we share. Why would he go through the then? Why would he go through the hallway to search our room if we share a balcony? Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very jolly. Golden elixir. All right, so that that extra point we put into Sutterfuge's help. Saint Francis helped. of Assisi in ecstasy. 
before superior voices. Okay, we've looked at those. It always amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. There's a circle around the lock here. It must be the trunk Mortimer was talking about. The key should open it. Not a trunk, it's a chest. Uh, use key. So, is that the amber and something else? There's a note. Effects of Sarah de Riche to be given to her son, Louis. I should probably take it. All right. I've retrieved everything. Okay. Now, there was a... I thought an amber up in one of the bookshelves, right? Yeah, there it is. I see it. Move your tail, dear. There you go. Thank you, kitty kitty. Hmm. Nothing here. I wouldn't mind a nice, strong coffee, though. Look, markings on the floor. Oh, uh, just a bit worn out. No, I no, was no, no. To find something leading to a secret passage. It is something no, leading to a secret passage. This bookcase is well stocked. Oh, this book has been put back the wrong way round. A voyage around the world. The travel log of the explorer, Louis Antoine de Bougainville. One of mother's favorite books. What a coincidence. And I don't believe in coincidences. It's just too much. I don't know what's going on here, but if you felt threatened, I'll bet you'd leave a clue, wouldn't you, mother? Found it. A faint sign of the order. Barely visible. Mother, you undoubtedly must have hidden a clue in this book. Let's see if I can find anything else in this room. Come on, Louis, think. Think. Now, those scuff marks on the floor, that bookshelf moves. You just don't have enough whatever it Let's is recap. to do that. My mother was in this room. I found a rare edition of her favorite book. She must have left something behind. She must have used the writing materials. What if she used lemon juice instead? An old trick used to hide messages. A message using invisible ink. I bet you use a limit to leave a message. Now, how do I reveal the message? Heat. You want to? You want to make lemon juice show up? Use heat. Um, grab that. Amber crystal. So, do I have enough? What was it for the amber? Inventory. Amber, amber, amber. Where's the amber fragments part? Where's the amber thing? Collector coins, Carmelite water, I don't remember where the amber one was. Look, markings on the floor. Eh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. It is a secret passage, you silly. And I think that's the wall we share with the Cardinal's room. 
Can you keep your tail off my keyboard, please? Okay, so we've got Inferno this Dante, book. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. And lovely lectures, more to We need to find something to reveal the jolly. hidden message. We've got the coffee. Can we use that? No, nothing here. I wouldn't mind a nice, strong coffee, though. Something hot. The lamp. A candle. Candlelight will do it because you can heat things over candles. I've done that. When I was a kid, um, I wrote in lemon ink on paper and heated it up on, on a candle. The message is illegible. I have to keep searching. Okay. Just the writing influence. There we go. I don't see how it's technically possible for one type of ink to reveal another. It doesn't make sense. Choice already made. I don't see how it's technically possible for one type of ink to reveal another. It doesn't make sense. So we failed that? Take the ink anyway. I haven't even had time to unpack my cases. I don't think it's gonna be one of the one of the um, paintings. It might be. We'll have to try those Nothing. next. Ah, heat. If a message is written in lemon juice, the flame will reveal it. size you up you must pass by the gorgon gorgon was the name of medusa in greek mythology on the other hand where all eyes size you up i don't get it and judging by the number of paintings in the manor could be anywhere after that she adds beware hero the beast always charges the best protected soldier and that's its weakness what is my mother trying to tell me but you've gone to so much trouble you must not have only found something important, but you must have also felt like you were in great danger. Now I better hurry and find that damn Medusa. Sir, dinner is served in the Red Salon. Typical. Okay. I'm not hungry. Please give my apologies to all the guests. Uh, Sir Holm requests your presence, sir. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to wait before going and looking for my Medusa. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. Okay, so what have we what have we got? Remember the order we gained a skill point in occultism. So what did we gain? We gained something. The beast always charges the most protected one. We've gained the business about Napoleon. And Jacques Peru. Okay, there are still one, two, three people to learn about.
We've unlocked agility and psychology and etiquette. These are all unlocked. We need to continue to unlock the rest of these. Linguistics, diversion, politics, conviction. We're very close to unlocking conviction. Questioning, vigilance, and logic. We may have to eat, how many royal jellies do we have? Three. We may have to eat royal jellies or our other things in order to get through our quests. If I get a chance, I may have to take a little tour through the rooms of the other guests. Oh, should we do that now? No, can't do that now. Do you think we could pick up now or have we already cleared this all out? I'm really enjoying this game so far, even though I'm making mistakes. There's George Washington. Ooh. Let no one disturb me. I'm busy. Too bad. We'll see him later. Oh, he would have been good to talk to. He's mad at us because we didn't keep uh, young Miss Adams busy. That's the door to Elizabeth's room. For God's sakes, what happened in here? Oh, good grief, there's a pentacle on the floor. All right. Dear Elizabeth, I'm writing to inform you of some unfortunate news. We won't be able to meet as planned on the first Sunday of May. I've been told that you're no better, and unfortunately, your brothers and I are absolutely snowed under by the work required to govern this new country. Please excuse us. As soon as we can get free, even if it's just for a day, I promise we shall come and see you. Your loving father, John Adams. Yes. Don't hold it against your mother if she still isn't ready. Please don't judge her. I'm sure you'll be able to put all of this behind you one day. Okay. A chest with a half circle pattern. All right, we're going to move away for now until we find the key to that lock, if we can find it. Alcohol? All right, how are we doing on... Let's see. That's effort points. That next next skill use is free is four. Okay. Looks like I found a box containing some kind of white crystals. Okay. All right. Let's use a royal jelly. I found a box containing. Do we have enough? Kind of white crystals. These are magnesium crystals. A fairly effective remedy for easing anxiety. I 
Okay, so we discovered her vulnerability. We kind of knew she was anxious, though. Just it was a clue from the way she behaved. She's an anxious kind of person. And they gave us that, too, in her description was that she was anxious. Okay, we can't fit into that corner. We may not go out on her balcony. 3rd of November, 1791. My dear sister, the cancellation of our reunion hit me like a stab to the heart. Father told me it was for your well-being, but I can't help but blame him. He claims that your condition has worsened and that it could be dangerous for both of us if we met. If only I knew where you were, believe me, I'd be at your side. I haven't received any news from you in a long time. Please write. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. I hope you like the enclosed talisman. Okay, so the thing that she was wearing at her neck that we picked up may be that talisman. Five circle shaped key. August that might be the key. 1792. Elizabeth, I am driven to despair and doubt there is any point in writing to you. I'm not even sure you'll receive my letters. Father controls my correspondence more and more. I am certain he filters our exchanges. Thankfully, one of the chambermaids is able to help me get my letters to you. But they still remain unanswered. I often think about you and pray every day to be able to hold you tight. We have so much time to make up. I beg you, answer me, please. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. That horrible woman came again yesterday. She spent a long time speaking with father. I didn't understand everything because they spoke in French, but I'm sure they were talking about you. Wonder who the horrible woman is. Hope it wasn't our mother. June 11th, 1791. My dear Elizabeth, your last letter gave me much cause for concern. Your words were so cold, as if emotions no longer matter to you. Father maintains that the secondary effects of your treatment still trouble you, but that they will soon subside. Should I believe him? I cling to the belief that we shall soon see each other again, at long last, right soon. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. Don't forget to tell me what present you want. So she's anxious and she's lonely. This is Thursday. Okay, I think we read this one. My dear Elizabeth, I'm writing to a... Yeah, we read that one. Okay, now this is the box with the lock, and maybe we've got the key now. A chest with a half circle pattern. I don't have this key. Okay. There we go, that's what it was. If you collect four amber fragments, your maximum effort points increases. Okay. An untutored hand copied these notes. Looks like a healing method. Well, that's a pity. The writing is barely legible. Okay, so. Feet and hands are bound. A piece of cloth in the mouth prevents the tongue from being sectioned. It looks like preparation for an exorcism. Is Elizabeth really possessed? Okay, so...
we now know she is vulnerable to questioning. She is immune to being manipulated. Oh my goodness, look at her bloodshot eyes. And then there's another thing to be discovered. We did her room. Uh, where's the map? Can I see the map? Okay. We were working our way around this way. I'm trying to look at this around a cat. So we want to continue to go around this way. Okay. Correct. Correct. Got another coin. Wonder. doesn't say it just says lost coins I, I didn't know if you collect enough of them if you get something really interesting good over here. I'm not sure I went. See? Yep, there's another coin, I think. Maybe if you collect enough coins, you get a skill. Okay, now that's barred. Barred. up here. How about, can we go upstairs? Um, doesn't show the emblem for going up the stairs. Okay. What is on the floor? Huh, doesn't show anything for that. The fact that these urns are not quite at 45 degree angles and are not quite square is bugging me. Okay, so we're now in front of this staircase. That's our room. I want to go past to roughly here and then come back to this staircase to see if there's anything else we can collect while we're up here and then we'll go to the red salon. Here comes another cough. I can just feel the tickle coming on. Sorry in advance. be the door to the room of the soldier I saw in my vision. Monsieur Bonaparte. Monsieur Napoleon Bonaparte. Okay. How much is it going to take? 
difficulty two. So I could use one of number four. A perfect read for anyone with a surfeit of ambition. Hmm. That might come in handy. Oh, nice. I got a skill, bo skill book. And he's immune to politics. That's actually rather appropriate for Bonaparte. I was going to say that letter should we should be able to read that, but I guess not. Difficulty one, vigilance locked. Okay, we don't have vigilance yet. My dearest son, I'm writing to implore you to act quickly. The situation is rapidly worsening here. Powerly continues to steer our motherland, Corsica, toward open warfare between France and England. His men are everywhere. We are obliged to go into hiding and are unable to remain in the same place for more than two days. I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted us soon. Make haste, my son. You hold our destiny in your hands. Your loving mother, Maria Letizia Bonaparte. So in one of the reviews I was quickly reading on this game, it said that the person who was reviewing it was critical and said it was very difficult to believe that this gentleman was French because of the accent. If I corn decorated with a cockade, it must belong to a French soldier. Um, he doesn't, it isn't that he doesn't sound French, it's that he sounds very American. And his grammar sounds very modern most of the time. So I do understand what they mean by that it was difficult. The Battle of Alexander and Isis, or how Alexander the Great triumphed over King Darius. Yet another one with delusions of grandeur. I've got enough. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. <laughs> well, I spent one to get two. So that is a net plus. Hannibal crossing the Alps. Another military success. Why do I get nothing but visions of horror in my room and he gets victory after victory? Because they did it deliberately. They put him in the victory room. It's a beautiful weapon. A lovely damask blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. Oh, and he's immune to conviction, too. So, he is immune to conviction and politics. We don't know any vulnerabilities. That's quite interesting. My dear son. An amber. Amber. French actor Talma is Nero and Britannicus, the last emperor of the Caesar dynasty.
Vercingetorix throws down his arms at the feet of Julius Caesar by Royer, two great army chiefs. My dear Napoleon, as previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on my island to participate in the high society meeting organized for the occasion. We shall be able to continue our discussion about our project for a new order for France. I have a proposition to make to you concerning your wish to put a strong leader at the head of France. I trust you to be discreet as to your coming. See you soon. Lord William Mortimer. Okay. In an odd way, I miss that our luggage is not like this. I know they were big and heavy and unwieldy, and it meant that you had to have help to move them, but can you imagine traveling and having all these nice little compartments to organize everything? So it was neat. Things could be pressed and they'd stay neat and pressed when you traveled. Instead, you roll everything up to stuff it in and it gets all wrinkled and yeah. Okay, I think we learned what we could from here, right? So we gained a book, the print, so we can gain another point in manipulation from that. Um, And that's pretty and we gained a bunch of things like the jellies and stuff and some coins so i'm glad we came around and looked through this room all right so if i look at where we are all right i want to continue to go down here I think that's I think the point that it shows these is that those are the most we can go through oh we didn't see if we could go out on the balcony did we did we see if we could go out on the balcony no we can't okay we cannot go out on the balcony. You can see out to the balcony, but you cannot go out. All right, so. This way? Correct. This is the way to go. Let's see if there's any other rooms that we can scope out. We're getting very close. Any more coins? Any more goodies? Coin. This is Thursday. It might be better to take a different stairway. That's the one I had planned on taking. And we're at the place before our room. So we'll go back to a stairway that's not covered in dust. There we go. Excuse me, Monsieur de Richet. I really need to talk to you. Is this about last night? No, that was just a misunderstanding. I'm sure it was a little bit my fault, too. There's no excuse for that man's horrible behavior. You ought to tell Sir Holmes. Look, the only thing that I care about is that I've lost something precious. I'm not worried about Jack Peru. Give her back her talisman. You didn't happen to lose this, did you? Where did you find it? In the small salon. It's the only reminder I have of my beloved sister. I thought that swine stole it from me. You're her son. Sarah de Richet's son. 
Yes, why? Last night, I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? Excuse me, but speaking frankly, why would you care? I know your mother very well. Really? Yes, I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. She nursed you. Oh, I wouldn't say nursed, no. I remember her stare, cold as ice. Her sadistic hands pressing over my mouth to silence me while I screamed in pain. I remember her knees, too. She held me down with them while she cut and burned scars into me. Hold on oh a minute. My. What do you mean? You can ask her when you see her. Huh. She's getting more and more agitated. Look, I've, I've got to go. Wait. I, I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you through all of that? There must be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? Okay. Difficulty four, difficulty three. Uh, one. One. Elizabeth. Confirm. Oh, okay. Fighting in me might ease your burden. Let me relieve you of some of your suffering. Relieve me? Do you even hear yourself? Do you really think that by confiding in my torturer's son, I will be healed as if by magic? That it will bring my smile back or let me sleep at night? Thank you. Everybody has their cross to bear. I know your little kid. Wow, okay. You're no different from the rest of them. You couldn't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. Don't okay. say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you. Don't they? Okay. Mention her sister. Haven't you got a sister? Yes. I'm sure she loves you with all her heart. She's the only one who cares about me. I would have put an end to it all by now if it weren't for her. Since you insist, I'll tell you how I met your mother. Thanks for trusting me. You see, before I was born, my mother often suffered from hallucinations and fits of anger. Soon people could barely recognize her. She became a completely different person. So my father spent an enormous amount of money paying for the best doctors, but none of them were able to cure her. The last resort was to call a priest. So, is that what your father did? No. He went to an expert in the occult. Ah, my mother. Her reputation already extended beyond our borders. My mother's fit stopped at my birth, and Sarah de Richet concluded that the evil had passed into me. Not only did it encourage her to stay, but she took the opportunity to advise my father to... separate me from the rest of my family. That's how I was declared stillborn. My fate was decided that very day. It would coincide with my mother's frequent trips to America. I had my first fit when I was three. That's when your mother began her experiments to rid me of the evil inside. I understand how you feel, but I know my mother. I'm sure she had her reasons, even if it seems difficult to believe. Everything she put me through was all for nothing. My whole life was ruined for nothing. So what brings you here then? My father used to know Sir Holm. He offered to introduce me to the world's leading authority in the occult. Lord Mortimer. He was my last hope. Until I found out he had also invited your mother. It's got to be a coincidence. I don't believe for a second she's come here for you. You can't change my mind about this, Louis. My days are numbered, and I know it. Okay, we're headed for dinner. Okay, so what have we got now? I got a new, did I get a new trait? Yeah. 
so that gave me a point in questioning which is nice I need to get vigilance up I keep having problems with seeing things because I don't have vigilance And we learned, where is she? We learned that she's immune to psychology. Okay. Go to the red salon and ooh, we can, is that? Yeah, I think it's the servant. Um. I don't know which way to the red salon. We may need to. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. What can you tell me about the guests? Do excuse me, sir, but I am bound by discretion to say nothing about Lord Mortimer's guests, sir. Perhaps, sir, uh, would like to know something else? Mm -hmm. What's on the first floor? The first floor is reserved for guests, sir. That is where sir will find his private rooms. The main corridor leads around the building. Three stairways will enable sir to return to the ground floor. It is also from there that sir will be able to reach the second floor. Thank you very much. Anything else, sir? Yes. What can I find on the second floor? That floor is strictly reserved for Lord Mortimer, sir. In the uh -huh. west wing on the second floor are his private chambers. In the east wing are the rooms reserved for Lord Mortimer's personal guests. At the moment, these rooms are reserved for Sir Holm, sir. But only authorized guests may access that area. Does sir have any more questions? What is outside on the island exactly? Lord Mortimer has made a point of keeping the main part of the island in its natural state, sir. For security reasons, only the wharves and the gardens are accessible to guests. Oh, we can if go to the gardens. Like to walk along the wharves, he has only to follow the pathway used upon his arrival. If he would like to walk in the interior gardens of the manor, I would advise, sir, to pass through the portrait gallery. May I help, sir, in any other way? Yes. Can you briefly describe the ground floor, please? Very well, sir. On the ground floor, there are mainly living rooms. Sir finds himself at present in the Grand Hall. From the Grand Hall, sir can access, on one side, the small salon, where the guests like to relax with a good book. From there, sir can access the conference room, which is closed at present for preparations. That is where Lord Mortimer likes to gather all of his guests for talks. From the other side of the Grand Hall, Sir may access the dining room. That is where Sir's meals will be served. From the dining room, Sir may benefit from an exceptional view overlooking the island. It is also the best way to access the portrait gallery, where a large part of Lord Mortimer's works are exhibited. And in the gallery, Sir will also find access to the garden. But Sir may be reassured, the building is accessible on both sides, so that it surrounds the garden in question. So, Sir should not find cause to worry. No one has ever gotten lost. Yeah, except for my mother. Has Sir another question? Okay, so... Does that mean now? No, it didn't fill in the, the map. I was wondering if it would do that. All right, so I don't know which one of these is the red salon, but let's see if we can go through the small salon and if that will take us there. So let's see if it's this way.
No, it's not through the small slot. Okay, well, while we're at it, any coins? Any books? I think we talked about these crazy bronze Lord doors. Moore certainly has a taste for staging rooms. looking up to see if you remember the thing about all the eyes being upon us blind Oedipus blinded himself what a tragic destiny fall of the damned by Rubens the man who cannot achieve the salvation of God the Father is offered to fall into the depths of the abyss right, so this time yes this is the way we go this time Okay, so we found the red sun. Yes, they arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolution, my friends. Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing at? He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? Hmm. Oh, please, go ahead. <laughs> what do you want to know? As my we don't have I etiquette. Don't right. yes. Thank you again for the wine, Your Eminence. It is served every day at the King's table. I am delighted. Oh, member of the Rose Croix Order, former Freemason and great lover of alchemy. And look at Piaggi fawning over him. I really do have a problem digesting political protocols. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. Okay, so what did we just learn? Immune to occultism. He's the Prussian Minister of Religion, secretly managed affairs of state, former pastor, member of the Masonic Lodge, okay, passionate about occult sciences and alchemy, led a war of religion in his country and fiercely combated the ideas of the Enlightenment. Okay. We had him, we had him. So right now we're missing this one. One of them, I remember getting the name, and the other one I don't remember the name of. Is it Godoy or something like that? Is one of these two. Okay. And yourself. Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. I shall feel better too, as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, I am shaking in my clogs. <laughs> <laughs> Is the wine to your liking? Very much so, Sir Gregory. Such complexity. Typically French. A Souterne, isn't it? Absolutely. If I'm not mistaken, this is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the rule. But I count on your discretion. Souterne's are very, <laughs> very I sweet. the same grape varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. Would... would you repeat that? Oh, well, uh, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I... I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you. I made a promise. Now it is done. <laughs> it's 
the first time I've ever seen her so moved. Just mention that orphanage broke right through Emily's heart. Okay, what did we get? Talents. Talent unlocked swift. You gain one skill point in vigilance. Nice. Make a dialogue of choice 20 times before the end of the dialogue timer. So we got one point in vigilance. That's nice. We need two more before it goes to level zero. Okay. And she's vulnerable to psychology. Right? Yes, thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. <laughs> What do you think of Volner? The Prussian king is his puppet. I find it hard to believe the king of Prussia is so weak. Be careful. Volner is as influential as he is dangerous. You seem to know each other well. We used to work together. I see. Of <laughs> course. Have you any information on this Napoleon? Lord Mortimer has invited Napoleon along to negotiate an important commercial venture. Nothing strange about that. And the Golden Order is somehow involved. What? Our order? Are you sure? That's what I read in a letter from Mortimer to Napoleon. Hmm. This information is important. Thank you, Louis. Maybe that'll repair our relationship a little. Monsieur de Richet, it would seem we have common interests. Could we speak in private, please? <laughs> All right, let's see how this goes. And I may need to drink some of those, whatever they are, royal jellies. Ooh, oh, that's quite a drop. Lord Mortimer and the Golden Order, through your mother, have concluded a financial agreement. Stay composed, Louis. I'm listening. An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. You must know that I am deeply sorry about our disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. I appreciate his confidence, but still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course. But I need to know if I can count you among my allies. Well, of course. And for that, I have a little question for you. The agreement stipulates an aid of 50,000 Louis d'or for 200 cannon. Let's try, I don't uh, know. I don't know. Maybe you ought to Is that going to be a blunder? Oh, what a pity. I was hoping you would be up to the challenge. No, oh, that was a blunder. I have one last question I would like to pose to you. We don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. Given the hard times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? Uh to it. I think what France is lacking today is a truly strong leader ready to govern her. Someone who will restore her luster, who will propel her forward so once again she becomes a proud nation respected by all. A man capable of both rebuilding the country from the inside and at the same time developing exterior relations. Someone with a vision, I think. The right person still remains to be found. You're right, my friend. I hear your words and I agree. Monsieur de Richet, I am reassured. I am very happy to have met you. Lord Mortimer was right to put his trust in you. I hope to work with you in okay. the very near future. I would like to thank you for your support by Good. offering we... you this humble little gift. Oh, we got hmm. a book. Reflections on the revolution in France. Monsieur Bonaparte, I thank you for this gesture and please know that I too am delighted to have met you. Okay, we made our way through that I one. Like say a few words, I would like to thank Lord Mortimer and you, Sir Holm, 
for bringing us all together here. Those of us for whom it is not the first time here, like me, are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> but I can assure you that each and every one of us has always benefited from them. <laughs> the last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. So I raise my glass in honor of you all, my new and old friends. Trust you shall not be disappointed, Mr. Washington. Oh, we don't have that skill. Right, we shall meet again tomorrow. All the guests will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused. We did pretty well this time. Oh, nice. Okay. Eight points. I want to get vigilance up. Okay, that's unlocked. Questioning would be nice to have. Six points. Okay. Subterfuge is up. Three points. Politics keeps giving us trouble. Start politics. We put two into politics and one into something else. to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. Okay, I get to pick out another manuscript so I can go with occultism, which would get me that up, manipulation or politics. I want to get politics going. Oh, maybe not. Uh, well, I'm stuck with that. Okay. Okay. Actually, no, that'll bring that up to level one. Good. So that'll be at level one. Then I have one, two, three more basic skills to unlock. Two more points in occultism, one more in science, three more in erudition, and these are all then to level two. And I, so if I get three more to level one, three more to level two, not bad. Nice. Okay.
find the place where all eyes size you up. We haven't searched this room either. I know it's a stair safe, no one call. Inventory is full of devil's thorn. Okay. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Do I have the key for this? Retrieved everything. Seriously. Dining on ham. Well, that's very appetizing. I want to talk to the Cardinal yet first. Oh wait, how many do I have? Everything, it's the, the Devil's Thorn I, I already have enough of. Why am I not talking to the Cardinal? Because one time when I talked to somebody, it pulled me into another room and I want to search this room first. Who did Dosi paint? Alcina the fairy or Circe the magician? Okay. There's something over there. Discourse on the Method by There Decau. we go, a book. This book changed the way I looked at the world. Circe preparing wine. What better trap than Ulysses? Everything's about Circe. The Conversion of Ulysses by Gours. Circe changing Ulysses' companions into swines. It's all about Circe and swine. Circe turning Ulysses' companions back into humans. Ulysses and Circe at the table. If I were you, Ulysses, I wouldn't drink the wine. I don't know that myth, so... And I don't know these paintings, so I can't speak to it. All right, let's talk to the Cardinal. He's waiting patiently for us to walk up and speak to him. Well, your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, the sin of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Waldner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes. I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The benefit of age, my son. This isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. You will see, it's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah, I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, still nothing, your eminence. But I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very busy man. 
I should think you are beginning to worry. To tell you the truth, not really. You are right. Be positive. Perhaps Sarah is in the company of Lord Mortimer, and they will both turn up shortly. <laughs> but while I have you with me, I, I have a question for you. Go ahead. What can I do for you? If I said to you, where all eyes size you up, would it mean anything to you? I don't know if it's the place you're looking for, Louis, but it makes me think of the portrait gallery. There's a gallery here? Can you tell me where to find it, please? Of course. Just go through the door at the end. It will lead into the library. Continue all the way through, and you'll end up in the gallery. Okay. You'll see it, Louis. When you get there, You'll know. Thank you very much, Your Eminence. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, Your Eminence. See you later, my son. So he looked this way. Let's try this way. Crystals. Nice. Key with an occult earth symbol. Okay. This would be the library. Oh my. bibliophile like me this is this is like a dream walking in some place like this actress the miller brothers mother expressly forbade me from reading it that is a reference to the video game mist by rand and robin miller that's what that is That's just, that's hysterical. A few pages out of an old encyclopedia. Oh good, we've got more encyclopedia pages. Okay, so, now we have two out of three. If we finish this off, we'll now have, look at that, if we get one more of those, we'll have one skill point in science, one in linguistic, and one in erudition. Wow, okay. Oh, look at how far it goes down. Oh. I've got shivers going up the back of my neck just from the thought of a library like that. Where all eyes size you up. Chances are. That's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should I go and try to find the creature now? Well, let's see if we can find anything else while we're here. Liberty or Death by Reignon. Well, I'll take Liberty, please. But well, I do understand his choice, even though it seems radical. Ah, painting by Aigne. Molière, dining with Louis XIV. The king's posture is surprising. It's almost as if he's addressing someone in the assembly. OK. 
Okay, this is the way out to the courtyard, garden maybe. can sit and look at things from here. Wait, 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 wait. Coin. I suspect I may have missed a coin or two when we didn't uh, search the room. Miss Adams was in there. The, I think it was the small salon. Celia. Means nothing to me. All right, where are we? We are at this alcove. I think I'm going to do the other end of the room and then come back to the alcove. Since there's an alcove, it's likely that that's where the Medusa is. The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. The last day before his crucifixion, Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. Yeah, except that that's a... That's not hanging on someone's wall. It's in a church in Milan. The song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near. His brain is oozing by, by their ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. was going to be the box. Ah, François Premier, Receiving the Holy Family, a painting by Raphael. The Fall of Phaeton, another painting by Rubens. Poor Phaeton, struck by lightning for borrowing his father's chariot and losing control of it. Moral Amber Crystals. The Company by Rembrandt. meeting between Louis XIV and Philippe V. I wonder why Mortimer is particularly fond of this painting. Now that's an interesting set of couches. Do the alcove and see if we find Medusa in the alcove. Watch it grab me and do a quick time event as I come in here. A painting with no name. That would be Medusa. All right, let's go around the room the other way. Hope for better. Oh, I'm full. So I didn't pick it up. Some devil's thorn. I'll keep it. No, nope, I'm full. And there's Medusa. one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. 
face the beast. Where's the beast? Maybe that's, maybe he's the beast. We've got to have them face the beast. All right, let's try this. In Greek mythology, anyone who looked into the eyes of the Medusa turned to stone. So the monster's statue must be turned towards someone who could protect their eyes. It could the only be the hero holding the shield. Origin of myths, a reinterpretation of legendary creatures. Just what I need. Good, we got a book. The text is in I French think. on the left hand page and in Latin on the right hand. Let's find the chapter on the Medusa. Hang on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. It recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra, the gorgons. Ah! section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the Gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. Can't do that. Now, Louis, it's time to keep a logical mind, as every good scientist should. The aim is to defeat the Medusa. So what can the lantern be for? To light up the Medusa? <laughs> Hardly likely. The hero holding the lantern will be easy prey, and the shield will be of no use. To light up the sword? No, that makes no sense. So that leaves the shield. Hmm, I wonder if the aim is to play with the light. If I turn the shield right, the light would be reflected. The ray of light will perturb the Medusa and focus her attention on the best protected hero. Pretty smart. But it also means I have to make sure I get the shield position just right. So light towards the shield. Okay. Rotate him. Now, now I want it to be halfway. is worn here. Whenever the shield is not turned toward the sword, the machinery freezes up. The statue must have been in this position most of the time, betrayed by the marks of time. So that makes it easy. The shield must face the sword. Whoa, the shield faces the sword. Okay. That'll, yes, and that's diagonal now. Okay. The statue is darker on the right-hand side. It must be often placed towards the fire, which would explain the difference in color. In that case, it would be facing the Medusa. Perfect for the coup de grace. All right. 
and we're going to rotate, right? Because there's a semicircle. Yep. Here we go. Rah! For Pete's sake, Emily. You scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. Oh, yeah? So tell me what you're doing here. I'm just... I mean, I... Yeah, just like me. Probably, but I asked the question first. Well, then, we'll pretend you haven't asked me yet. What about a little gallantry, Louis? Come on, I'm listening. What are you doing here? Oh... Since you insist, Duchess, gallantry obliges this. Ladies first. You just won't give in, will you? I'm sorry, madam. It isn't in my nature. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. She I'll still hasn't told me. She still hasn't said. Of interest, let me know. Oh, yeah. In your dreams. At your service, madam. Three. Okay, let's do this. Oh, that isn't what I wanted. Oh, okay. A golden fleece. It's freezing. Hurry up. Cold? You want a rug? It'll warm you up. I wouldn't be caught dead in that horrible thing. That's a pity. The gold color brings out your eyes. And your flattery brings out your boorishness. And this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. The Gospel according to Judas. Or, how to crucify Jesus as part of God's plan. You do realize that the contents of this book could undermine the very foundations of Christianity. One more reason to leave it in the secret room of a lost manor on a private island. Do you realize how important this book is? Of course, but what I really want to know is how did it come into Mortimer's possession? I was thinking the same thing about all the paintings and sculptures in the manor. How did the English manage to get their hands on them? When someone wants to attract the attention of the world's leading power, Somehow the gifts just pour in. You wouldn't Too have true. gone to the Vatican recently, would you? Are you calling me a thief? Certainly not. Never entered my mind. A Byzant from the Byzantine Empire. A coin often used during the St. Louis. Hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. It talks about his passion for art. an empty pedestal? That's an odd thing. Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. This could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's laurel wreath. The workmanship on this crown is amazing. The finesse of the gold laurel leaves is beautiful. A crown worthy of an emperor. I'd stake my life that it's the genuine article. I can just see Mortimer dressed in a toga, wearing a laurel wreath, strutting around his manor all day long. You have a curious idea of Mortimer. Why? He's eccentric, like all the English are, isn't he? Well, if Peru stands for French grace, then if I were you, I wouldn't be making that sort of remark. Well, 
looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. You should see the sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. This weapon is typically French, quite old, undoubtedly goes back to the Crusades. If it is a true Damascus sword, it's worth more than a kingdom. It really does look like Joan of Arc's sword. The famous Maid of Orléans. One of your favorite historical heroines. You bet. Given the number of English butts she kicked. And we all know where that got her. When you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place? Amber. Here's Get something her. interesting. We'll grab me. in May. Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia, properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old, and all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? See those fine scratches around the words? Yes, and? The ink barely spreads on the paper. It spreads exactly the same way on the signature. The deed was written using the same ink. If it is a fake, then it's a professional job. Several people have played the part of Mortimer, a part that has been passed down from generation to generation. Different men, but with one sole identity. An intriguing hypothesis. And yet less twisted than some of my previous cases. At last, you finally agree with me about something. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? And how do you know my mother was interested in this room? I didn't know, I just supposed she was. And you just confirmed it. So, do you think she found what she came for? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer and... I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, mm. why would she have left them? Once again, I mm. don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? Mortimer's collection is unique, isn't it? That's an understatement. No doubt he has a major passion for history and fine art. Or getting gifts. If each time Mortimer does someone a favor, they reward him with a priceless gift, that means he must... What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I place my trust in you, Louis? Nothing. I have done absolutely nothing for you. No to this, no to that. You ask for proof of trust, but when you get it, you turn a deaf ear. You are defiant, evasive, and paranoid. Go question your own motives. I've done all I can. All right, fine. There's no point getting on your high horse, you know. So I'm wary, I grant you that. I'll admit you are fairly reliable. That's it? I was expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily. I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help. Just like everyone. You have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. <laughs> and I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? Hmm. She's not weak in psychology. Is she weak in psychology? You think your scathing wit protects you, but in fact, it makes you blind. No sooner have people introduced themselves than you already see them in a bad light. 
You play the part of a strong woman, and yes, you are a strong woman, of course. But what I see is a sensitive young lady who lacks self-confidence. Stop adopting a defensive posture, and you'll see just how quickly new doors will open. There is some truth to what you say. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? Oh, it's crystal clear. You don't like people telling you what to do, and you do like giving the orders to everyone. If I were the matron you speak of, I would have found an underling to search this place, and I would be sound asleep in my bed. Nope. Okay. I already have a work partner. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me, but I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no. I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on. Well, especially don't she has stop to wear that dress all the time. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler. So, your partner is... Your sister. She's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. How the devil did you guess I had a sister? Virtually no one even knows. When it comes to getting results, you are very good. I grant you that. All right. You deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant affected me so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma, my twin sister. Oh. Now I get why you said you had a memory for two. Yes. You can't imagine to what extent, though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day, we decided to play along. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister, Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Interesting. Clever. But isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one. Then for the other, Careful we dress there, the same, two, six, wear the ten. same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. When we accept a mission, put your libido back her. in its box. This time, though, she went ahead, and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir Home and bring back the details, so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem. She was supposed to return for Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas no trace of my sister instead a sailor passed me a message from home notifying me of her sudden disappearance so my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart that's strange maybe their disappearances are linked it's clearly a possibility but up to now i haven't found a trace of either of them none of this is very reassuring by the way louis now that you are in on the secret you are obliged to keep it to yourself or you will pay very dearly. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. It's time to leave. Oh, I had one more thing I wanted to search, and you're going to drive me out. Yeah, I know so, she's threatening me. What do you think of our first adventure? I must admit, it has been fun by your side. Same here. He's flirting with her. Oh, she's been drinking too much again. Louie, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. Oh, dear. I'm fused up like I'm every sure potion we have. Louis, we need to talk now. Otherwise, it'll be too late. It looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? All right, come on, give me my mouse. There we go. Sorry, Emily, but I can't leave Elizabeth like this. All right, Elizabeth. How can I help? Thank you. Come on, follow me. 
Yeah, she's had it for a while. You were away well. I really need to when talk to you showed up. right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it. My days are numbered. Elizabeth, I don't know if it's about my mother again, but I'm telling you, you've nothing to be afraid of. She didn't come here for you. I saw her. Saw who? You saw my mother? When? Just last night. I went out to walk along the cliff top and I saw her in the distance. She tried to hide right away, but I'm sure it was her. Are you saying you recognize my mother in the middle of the night while she was hiding? Yes, Louis. I know it was her. You just said she was far away, right? In the middle of the night. And the exterior of the island isn't exactly well lit. Listen, I'm telling you it no, was her. No, you missed her backstory. Oh, I missed. Did you I talk missed. to each other? No, she was far away. I I didn't make any noise and gotta she move faster. Have you told anyone you've seen her? Sir Holm? Mortimer? You don't understand. It's her. She's here. Yes, I understand. No, you're not listening. The moment I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. She's here. I'm telling you, it was her. Yes. I need something to calm me down. No thanks, I, I'd better not. Listen, if you want me to tell you everything, you have to drink with me, Louie. What I have to say to you is of the utmost importance. Mm. All right, just one glass. I'll drink with you, but let's go easy on it, okay? We're not gonna, we're gonna get so drunk. I don't know where she gets her rot cut from, but Frankly, it's disgusting. You know, Louie, when I came here, it was in the hope of getting help. By 2610. I've only just now realized that I've been drawn here into a trap. Whoa. Alcohol. Yep. Yep. <sighs> Gone to my head. Yep. She drugged us. Here. The condemned's last drink. Don't drink it. Elizabeth, alcohol never solves anything. I'm going to stop now. Listen up. You want to know what your mother was capable of, right? You want to know the reason why? Well, you're going to have to follow me to the bottom of the abyss, Louie. Either drink or get out. We'll get out. No, I won't drink. All right, Louie, then get the hell out of here. You're incapable of opening your eyes, so be it. Get out! I have like no points left, so. Sorry. Why the hell did I go with Elizabeth? I could have spent the night with Emily, but no. I had to go play the night with a big heart. That's okay. Oh, well, never Be mind. Be true to yourself. Tomorrow's another day. Come on, get our points back. Where are our points? Monsieur de Richet, I am arresting you for the murder of Elizabeth Adams. What the hell is going on? You are in deep trouble, my young friend. No points. Okay, four points.
erudition, manipulation, or occultism logic. I could put, I could logic, put one into erudition and use the erudition book. Chapter one done. Yeah, that's chapter one done. How many times must I tell you? You must never put your life on the line for me. Mother has always had a fascination for Lord Mortimer, but has never wanted to tell me why. We are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Without your mother, wow, we didn't get many points back. Back onto the guillotine. All I can tell you is I'm looking for my sister. Do you believe your mother capable of torturing a child? An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf of your mother. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs, and Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. You will find that Lord Mortimer is not what one would call conventional, Monsieur de Richet. Monsieur de Richet. I am arresting you for the murder of Elizabeth Adams. Okay. One manuscript to equip. Okay. But we didn't get many points back. Wow, we're really low. At last we meet, Monsieur de Richet. Do you mind if I call you Louis? Please do. Thank you. I wish to apologize wholeheartedly, Louis. I made you cross the seas, and I wasn't even here to welcome you. When I asked you to join us here, it was, of course, in the hope that you would help us find your mother. But okay, we're not arrested now. horrific violence occurred during the night. And I do not know if this is linked to the disappearance of Sarah. If there's a possible link to my mother, I, I hope you'll let me know. In the early hours of the morning, Elizabeth Adams was found dead in her room, savagely mutilated with a knife. We're not a murderer. I'll get straight to the point, Louis. According to the initial elements at my disposal, you were the last person to see her alive. Yes, last night we... Uh... Do you suspect me? I want you to tell me everything that happened last night and leave nothing out. Tell me, how did the evening begin? Duchess Hillsborough and I were returning to our rooms when Elizabeth came up to us. She was in a state of panic and insisted that she needed to speak to me. She said she feared for her life. I took my leave of the Duchess and followed Elizabeth to her room. Continue. She insisted we have a drink, without which she refused to confide anything. What exactly did she want to speak about? She claimed she saw my mother the previous evening on the cliff, if I remember correctly. Interesting. 
I will send someone as soon as possible. Interesting. But do go on. He actually I refused like, to go on drinking with her. She I thought. already seemed drunk and her conversation became confused. So then she ordered me to get out. If only I'd stayed. Don't blame yourself, Yui. How could you have known? But thank you for this new information. Louis, I shan't hide the fact that this tragedy puts me in a very delicate situation. I cannot risk upsetting the smooth operation of our next conference. But the case cannot remain unaddressed. I must reassure my guests, and justice will be done. And for that to happen, I must ask for your help. Why is that? You met Elizabeth. You spoke together, I believe. She trusted you. Not really. Listen, she didn't really trust anyone. Find out who could have committed this murder. I refuse to believe that one of my guests is the murderer. I want to know who is responsible for this. And I trust you. You have my backing. You must stop at nothing. Can I count on you? Of course. How would you like me to proceed? Maybe you could start by going to the scene of the crime. Elizabeth was attacked in her room. Do you have any suspects in mind, my lord? I spent most of the night talking with Sir Gregory and his eminence Piaggi. So I think you can remove them from the list of suspects. Monsieur Bonaparte and President Washington left the party after midnight, I believe. They were tired and went up to bed. Can you tell me anything else about what happened? No, Louis, I wouldn't want to influence you. Get over there and form your own opinion. Right. I'll get over there immediately. Thank you, Louis. Now, once you've finished, come back and let me know your findings. I'll be waiting. All right. And Louis, you've got permission to search through the guests' rooms. They will be notified and they agree. Oh, my. All right. We are at about four hours in. We've started chapter two, or the second part of this, and I'm beat. So I'm thinking, actually, this is a good place to stop for now. Um, partly because I'm hungry and I really need a meal. So I think I'll continue this tomorrow. Um, but thanks so much for coming along with me today to get through the first section of this. Um, and let's keep going. I kind of like it. Um, and I'd like to see where it goes. All right. Let me... Is there a save? No. Okay. Back to menu then. There we go. All right, so let's go to stream ending soon and play some more of this tomorrow. I don't know what time I'll start. It kind of depends on how things go, but hopefully um, it'll be something like today where I started relatively early and we'll go until we get, get tired. Um, I am working on the Minecraft playthrough on the side. I am really trying to uh, put some time into improving our village and hopefully I will have quite a bit done by the time we get back to it. And lots to show you. Thank you for coming along with me today. And I hope you had fun. And I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.